Bombard. Incendio. Defendo. Incendio. Crisis. Bombard. Incendio. Defender. Glaciers. Incendio. Bombarder. Just once, try seeing things from my point of view. Incendio. Bombarder! Defender! Incendio! Bombarder! Glacius! Incendio! Defender! Protego! Glacius! Bombarder! Incendio! Well, well! Finally! Someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I wouldn't call it fun, really. Wouldn't you? Hmm. To each their own, I suppose. So, about the contract... I am a poltergeist of my word. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. One doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. You've worn me out! Oh, well done. I have a feeling about you. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. You knew exactly where I was going when I entered that chest. Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. Forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Yes. 
you should have told me the truth and punished yourself as necessary. I need to go and find Officer Singer. Penny is so sorry. Penny wanted to tell you everything. Truly. Surely Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Hello, Penny. <gasps> Were you worried I'm... Penny was beginning to... Another shopkeeper. <gasps> but how can you be forbidden? Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came... Thank you, Penny. I... Penny will wait. Revelio. Officer Ah, Cassandra Mason, so I I am perfectly cape. No, no, I... and according to that. Hmm. I wonder in any event. Perhaps a little visit with... Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant, Cassandra. It's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> ah! ah! I should have known better than to do business with a wild stupid Glacius. Incendio. Bombarda. Defendo. Incendium. Glacius. 
I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Second that house self of yours, she's probably terrified. Spoony little traitor myself! I should have known it was- Silencio. Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. I look forward to working with you. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop and Penny will take care of the rest. I choose Vestas and Venom. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny, we'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. <laughs> 